if you've watched any of my videos on the channel where I talk about the things that I miss about my home where I was born, Cameroon, you would know that I always, I almost always end up saying things like, I don't miss, you know, it's not the places, it's not the things, it's, not the, it's, it's the people, it's my family, it's my siblings. That's what I miss. But, but if I had to pick one thing that I really miss, one thing amongst all the things, it's going to be food. Today's video is going to be a reaction to a video by Tenacheki. I've been watching this channel on the down low, uh, very similar to, well, almost in the same space as Displore, but something about the content of Tenacheki, not even that, but I, I think Tenacheki stands out on its own. It's like, you, it's easy to classify Displore, Tenacheki, a lot of these channels that talk about Africa at the same level, but I think there's a uniqueness to each one, the way they take the subjects and I think this uniqueness is driven by the people behind them. So, Tunacheki is very, I guess I think I'd say Pan-African? I don't know if that's a term. Please let me know in the comment section if I'm wrong. <laughs> but today's video is titled, it's not has to do with politics, it has to do with food. It's called Top 10 Most Popular African Food Recipes. It has 200,000 200, subscribers, sorry, uh, views. Getting a brain fart. I think I should stop recording videos at this point. I'm tired. <laughs> and, uh, was in 2017 so we're going to react to this video it's a short video i haven't watched it so i have no idea what i'm going to come across but i have a feeling i'm going to be hungry at the end of this i don't know who sent me whoever sent me thank you so much for being here <laughs> thank you for sending me and uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet why are you not subscribed let me know in the comment section why you're not subscribed if you have let me know what you'd like to see on the channel all right let's get into the video Welcome to Tanaka Chi, and in this video, Tanaka Chi presents Top 10 Most Iconic Popular African Foods mm. Number 10 uh, ta Tajine Tagine Tajin mm. How do I pronounce this? Northern Africa a historically Berber meat named after the type of earthenware cooking pot. So, tajine. It's like chicken to me. Ooh. Okay, now that, that looks like something that I want to try out. Definitely. I'm definitely going to try that. Hmm. All of us are going to feel this pain, all right? I'm keeping this shot so you can feel the pain that I'm feeling right now. Number nine. Mandazi Maham Mahamri, East Africa. A form of fried wheat bread. There's a fly in here. <laughs> this video, this vi the video must go on, all right? We'll figure out a fly after that. For now, well, let's just watch the video. Mandazi Mahamri, Mahamri, Jesus Christ, East Africa, a form of fried wheat bread taken sweet or savory. Did you mean savory or savory? I guess savory. So you have flour. Open it up. Fry it. Now remove the heat and drain the paper towel. Mandazi looks soft bread like interior. That's like regular bread. It's not like, man, you know, bad thing. I don't want to do like an, a food podcast. I've never listened to a food podcast. I'm just wondering how it would be like to talk about food, but audio only. What you have, I mean, visually, you can even see now. I'm like, but that looks like bread. So imagine just hearing, like, oh, it has this texture and it has this. My vocabulary is just limited. Number eight. Mafe. Oh man, I used to work. I used to work at. A, I used to work at a, a restaurant slash cultural center called Iaboya. If you have been, if you're in Boya, you haven't been to Iaboya, then you haven't seen anything. One of the perks of working at Ia was that was the food. Actually, no, hundred percent. Like the pay was okay. The food was awesome. And one of the cool things about being able to work in the back, you know, when you, you've done work or you've had an event, and then there's so much work to be done. I got me chef. Chef like, hey, bro, what do you want to eat? 
Actually, that's the rapper. But whenever, whatever was available, that's what we're going to eat. So, Mafia was one of the meals that we often had. Uh, I think if you want to insult it, you call it granola soup. It wasn't necessarily granola soup. It was Mafia. A stew with meat simmered in a sauce thickened with ground peanuts. Yes. We just call it granola soup. Bro, if you have eaten peanut soup from Cameroon or from any African country and you come to the US and you have to make peanut soup with peanut butter, which is sweet. I forget. That's what you eat in the US is not it's not food. That is just glucose, brown glucose, not food. Ça c'est la sauce arachide. I have to switch to French because it's just too much. La sauce arachide. Huh? Une sauce, let me just read that. Une sauce avec la viande préparée avec une sauce Something, something. I forgot to my French. Let's just watch the video. I said, what, what, what? I think, sorry, I <laughs> did not change my screen. <laughs> Let me show you what I was watching here. <laughs> this part doesn't look appealing to me. It looks too empty. This is not... I mean, maybe I, because I grew up in a house where we had like four of us, which is comparatively small because you have you really cook for like you, your siblings, your cousins, your uncles, and the neighbors who, show, who often show up at the right time when you just finish cooking. So this part, yeah, it's not equivalent to the kind of pot that we we'll normally see and, and have this kind of food in it. What kind of meat is this though? It looks like, it looks like a chicken. Definitely not good meat. Good meat is a little bit shorter. So like the muscles, you know, they cut it a little bit smaller, but this... And it looks too white to be red, the kind of red from goat or cow. So it's a deaf chicken, maybe? I don't know. Look at me doing my top chef here on my computer screen, just me talking about food as if I know anything about food. <laughs> Piri Piri. Piri Piri sauce, Southern Africa, hot. Piri Piri sauce, Southern Africa, hot and fragrant sauce originally from Portugal, but widely adopted in Southern Africa. So let's see, let's see, let's see the recipe here. Let's let's have a look if I can pick up things. So we have. No. So those are red red peppers, red uh, bell peppers, no. onions. What's that in the middle? Looks like garlic. Seven. Tomato sauce, is it? This is ground peppers. Garlic. That looks like ginger. Water. Salt. Tomato, we boil it. Stew it. That's it? Don't tell me that's it. Really? That's it? Okay. I mean, it, it sure looks simple. Maybe it's because of the video that was used. It looks simple to make. It's, it just looks like there's nothing in the sauce. Like, it's just sauce and the flat bread. What bread is that? Number six. Ugali. I think somebody in the comment section mentioned, you know, talked to me about Ugali as a staple Ethiopian meal. I hope I'm correct. Please let me know. You understand on this channel we are trying to learn and we, me, are not knowledgeable in a lot of things. So bear with me if I say stupid things sometimes. Ugali, Sadza, Sima, East slash Southern Africa, maize meal dough-like consistency, common staple in East and Southern Africa. All right. <laughs> Oh, wait. No. Ugali, uh, Tanzania. Wait, Uganda? I think it's Uganda. Liz. Liz, if you're watching this, I think Liz, uh, my friend who's a YouTuber, made a video where she actually bought this for her husband and had... I made some of it on the channel. Yeah, I think, yes, it's from Uganda. Yeah. Now that I see it being made, I remember what it looked like. What is that? Cabbage? Number five. P. 
Pilau Biryani is East Africa with Indian origins. Mixed rice dishes, fragrant and flavorful. I like the music. Eggs. Cilantro? That looks like... Number four. Ah. <laughs> but this is not fufu. Or oh, is this fufu? What kind of fufu is this? It doesn't make any... Fufu is like yams or corn or potatoes. This is a sauce. Don't like food crops like cassava yams, plantains made by pounding them. Yes. Are they showing the soup first before the fufu? What soup is this? This is kumkum. Kumkum. Kum kum. Is it cassava? Dry cassava that makes kumkum, kum, right? Please, if you're from Cameroon, let me know. I think there's... Yeah. I have never seen this. This is probably going to be... My, I don't know how... If you're still watching this video to this particular point, let me know in the comment section because I, I really have to thank you for sticking with me as I'm getting confused with different meals. I've never... See, this is why I, this is why I like to do reaction videos because sometimes I'm looking at things I'm like, what, what is that? I've never seen a plate of fufu. Soup is hardly ever more than the fufu. Like, almost all... In fact, you will finish your soup and you'll have to add you... You'll finish your soup and you'll still have fufu left. So this is not proportional. The soup is always less than the fufu because all African mothers know that they have to manage soup. You can make gari, you can make rice, you can boil plantain, you can do potatoes, but you have only one soup with multiple fufus. Just saying. Number three. Injera, Ethiopia, Eritrea, and Somalia. A sado reason flatbread with a unique, slightly spongy texture. I haven't eaten this before. I wonder how it tastes. I wonder. But just from the appearance and the size of the hand and the spoon, it looks like it's one of those dishes that you eat as a family, as a group of people. So you cannot eat this alone. I don't know. Maybe that's just a plate. I'm just thinking that. Hey, my Ethiopian brothers and sisters, it's time for you to let me know. Um, is this meal traditionally eaten like with many people or is this just the way it's served? Like, I'm just curious. My point, my, my point, my point exactly. I just said that and that happened. I'm so, I'm so smart. My God, look at my face. Look at, look at me. Okay, now let's watch the video. Number two. Fried plantain is number two. Most of Africa is found anywhere in the plantain. Funny story about fried plantain. Whenever I go to Walmart and get plantains, like four out of, I mean, three out of five times, people always ask me, like, what is that? Like, what is that? I get plantains that are almost about to get ripe so I can fry them, right? Every so often. Not all the time. So I just like them boiled. But yeah, uh, in, in Boya, in university, in university town, we eat, you know, dodo and eggs. Dodo and anything. You can eat dodo and plantains. <laughs> plantains is dodo. <laughs> dodo and beans. Dodo and garnet soup. I don't try dodo and garnet soup. I've, I definitely tried dodo and beans. And um, yeah, it's. I agree. Number two. So this, okay, they were doing a countdown. I just realized it was a countdown. Two, definitely dodo. Fufu, yeah. Fufu was right. I think I feel like fufu could have been even where dodo is. Fufu could have been more. Because I feel like, I don't know. Should say pa. But yeah, fried plantains, dodo. Most of Africa found anywhere that plantains grow, a popular staple in the continent. Wow, that is a thick piece of dodo. My mother will not allow that to happen. You're wasting the dodo. How would it cook inside? It's too thick. So unless you want to fry it, that's too thick now. Nah. Or you put salt. It's often best, in my this is just just saying it's often best to have the oil covered and hot all right that's my my experience because i've done it badly multiple times so if you don't have it covered and hot you don't get that crisp golden fried uniform texture all right yes for dodo i am a chef apart from that nothing else 
You see, that's what I'm talking about. Because now you have you have this situation right here where it's burnt, it's golden, it's sort of fried. And you don't put it in the plate directly. You put in like a sieve, put your paper towels, let the oil sink in and then you take it out. This is what happens when the oil is not enough. Just saying. What is that? Number one. Nyamachoma. All over Africa, many different names we meet. Oh, soya. Nyamachoma. Which language is this? I do not know, but I guess it means soya. Yeah. Yep, I, yeah, you cannot beat that. So now check it. If you have suggestions for videos about Africa that you want to see, leave them in the comments below. If you like what you see and want more videos, remember to like and subscribe to done liked and subscribed all right so i feel like that my intro I, I don't know what i was expecting with the whole pan-african thing when i was talking about in the beginning which is my overview of tenacheki and i have not done any any uh reactions to tenacheki's video so you know i thought i'll just mention that because i come into these reaction videos honestly with my own biases like when i watch somebody's channels on the video i start picking up you know their political standing their perspective on maybe religion on race and things i start I feel like I come now into the conversation knowing who I'm dealing with. So because I've watched so many episodes of uh, videos of Tsunacheki and I've seen him talk, well, not him, the main person behind the channel, I'm sure there's a team now, I sort of get an idea of the kind of person he is and his values and what he strongly stands for. And I have nothing against that, like none at all. It's just one of those things that because I'm not knowledgeable about, I don't know how to articulate it. So I'm educating myself in order to get into this conversation. I'm reading a lot about African history and politics and a lot of check on that, uh, on that job. So, but this was a pretty, I like this video, honestly. Like, I don't know about you. I don't know if you have to watch up to this particular point, but it was fun to just look at these foods and then just have this visceral reaction. Like, what is this? What is that? What, what's happening? Why, why is this happening? So, yeah, go watch the video. Uh, Tenacheki is over 800,000 subscribers. Get to that 1 million, brother. Like, 1 million would be cool. Just have a 1M, right? I feel like we don't have many African channels with 1 million subscribers. I don't know why. I feel like we have many millions. I mean, Cameroon alone, you know, we have 21 million people. I think on the internet, we have like 6.5 million people online. I don't know. Random idea for a different day. But hey, top 10 popular uh, African food recipes. Well, those were just the meals, not the recipes. It feels like they just rushed through the recipes. So I don't feel like I can cook, apart from Dodo, which I already knew. But uh, yeah, let me know in the comment section. Did you do you think the list was accurate? Do you think they had a great grasp of popular foods? Do you think it has changed since 2017 that the list was made? Let me know in the comment section. Let's have a conversation. Let's let's share our meals. Let me know your meals. Uh, do you have a recipe on your own channel that you've made? I'll be happy to check it out and see if I can replicate it myself. All right. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm hungry. I'm I'm, I'm very hungry. So I'll just leave you here. Do your best. Let God take up the rest. Once this life, there's hope. I will see you in the next video, my friend. You take care.